there guys, it's time to jam with Jam Time 2000. So, I'm gonna be playing Train Simulator 2017. Um, and also I've, I, I decided to just give up on the screen capture because it was, yeah, it was giving me way too much trouble than it was worth, so I've just switched to an external monitor and a laptop and Yes, the speakers on my laptop are absolute shit, so I've got some speakers here. So, let's start. Yeah, the game is running, uh, but it's also better for my computer not recording. So, I reckon the first thing I should do is pick a brute. I'm gonna try to derail this train, so I'll make this train depart from Munich and then it will go to some random place. So let's load this, it is going to take some time to load. Okay, so the game's finally loaded, thank god for that. Let's see what we've got ourselves today. Um, let's shut this train up, how we go to a lot of a pantograph. Yeah, look how nice this train looks. Yeah, this is a Amtrak Asilo Express. Let's look at the map and see where it's got and where we're gonna go. So this is my train here. And I'm not even gonna bother to stick to the speed limits. I'm gonna be naughty and break the speed limits. And that will and my train will go here, but it doesn't look like there's very much in the way of track switches. So my train will probably get through this through all this without much to worry about. Yeah, the main source of derailing is in the yard, so we're gonna have a look at the outside of this train. Um, mm, the driver could lose a bit of weight. <laughs> they don't even bother to model in the controls when the uh, when, uh, ca cab camera is, uh, is off. I'm a bit, a bit disciplined, I can't get the passenger view, but who cares when you've got a beautiful looking train like this? Of course, uh, of course this is the German train station in Munich, which is absolutely massive. And of course they don't even model in the rest of the station, they just put that, put that picture thing there. Yeah, so anyway. 
way. Um, yeah, here's my train in the not there. Actually, this part of the station has still got a lot of passengers, so let's open the doors. What the hell? Those passengers just disembarked on a train that hasn't even gone anywhere, and they disembarked before the doors had a chance to open. Yeah, this is a Asila Express, which not which is in the, which in reality is run by Amtrak, which is an American train company. Of course, of course, of course, I put, uh, of course, of course, I wouldn't ride and of. Of course I wouldn't ride. Of course, of course I wouldn't ride in Amtrak. I'd ride with Great Southern Railway and ride either again for the Indian Pacific. Let's let more passengers on on because chances are this will be the train of it. Yeah, but yeah, I won't. But yeah, but yeah, I won't be calling it. Yeah, I think I'll put. Yeah, this will be the train of death. Because, because, yeah, yeah, this will be the train of death. Because if you go on this train, you're probably gonna die, especially with the way I'm gonna drive it. I actually think I like the look of this better than the ICE. And there's something about the weather, and there's something about the profile of the carriages as well that I really like. So anyway, the doors are shut, so let's come here. When we're, we're, this train is going to get quite fast, so let's switch on the bell. Um, we'll go to trackside view, break off. Setting boards and we'll go. Um, come on, go. I said move, move. Okay, fine, don't move, stupid piece of crap. Oh, I know why the pantograph isn't up. Right, let's try that again. Um... Let's turn this bell off. There we go. Let's try that again. That's better! We're already speeding. There's the train right there where the cursor is. Look how much this train is shaking. Uh, the speed limit is 60, we're way past that already.
Yep, we've got a corner coming up. Yep. The trade survived, but will it survive the next one? Yeah, the next one is more fish. train is coming up on that corner very rapidly actually and it's gonna start going downhill so things will definitely pick up there we go this is very tight yep the next one is even worse can the train survive Trains are, yep, trains okay. Can it survive the last one? Yes, it can. And it's at 253 k's per hour. Yep, the train survived all that. Yep, here we go. Oh shit! <laughs> Hol holy shit! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. The Holy this the, the carriage has literally been broken apart. <laughs> yep, here the Yeah, you can't even walk, but this one's on its side. <laughs> and <laughs> this one's upside down and then uh, and then this one's right way up. And then this one's just down in the scenery, so anyone beyond that would be dead. And then this, and then the cab is underwater. What will happen if we try going into the other cab? Yep, but, <laughs> yep, but... Yep, the train may still be running, but I've, but I think I, yep, I broke it. No shit, Sherlock. I'll ring the, yep, I'll ring the bell for help. Yep, let's find another, let's find another way to destroy this train. And I've got a very good idea. I'll modify the electric train, which is the Acela Express by mistake. So anyway, what I meant to do was click on Edit. Load. Come on, hurry up. I haven't got all night. Well, I do, but I want to sleep. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Okay, so the train is here, um, I've got, I don't know why I can't sit in the passenger view. This is a Boeing 7 engine. Let's start, start it up in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, you can actually see it spin up. And look at the, the driver that looks a bit scared. Um, so, without further ado, let's go. Um, oh, so, break off, throttle forwards, and let's go. Oh god, wheel slip. Check this. Whoa! I better turn the volume down up otherwise my brother will... Uh, yeah, I better turn the volume down up otherwise my brother won't be too happy. 107, 180 and 190 in a 
200 k's per hour. It's only a matter of time before the train derails. Yeah, look at that, the train's just gone before it gets there. So it's at the state, it's a book about to arrive at the station and now it's gone. 255 k's per hour in a 120 zone. Oh, shit. That didn't last long. I bet if we tried a jet train on its own, we could get that to go flying. Of course. Mm -hmm. And as that, mm, and as they, uh, and as they say, uh, and as they say in the cooking shows, here's one I prefer. Here's one I prepare. Here's one I cooked up earlier. So, once again, we're just going to wait for this to load. Okay, so I've now got the jet train on its own. Let's have a look. Yep, jet train on its own. Let's go. Look at that, it's just gone. Look at that. Oh, shit. They'd probably, they'd probably be, they'd probably be, they'd probably be many people dead at that point with the jet train smash. With the, there'd probably be many people dead at that point with the jet train smashing through a station, causing rocks to go everywhere. But I'm gonna end the video here. This has been Jam Time 2000. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, one more thing, I'm also building a new desk and there'll be a video about that and the reason why I need want a new desk is it will be better than this, this one it will have more storage space underneath the desk instead of just the top and here's another reason why, look at this Look how, look how flimsy, look how flimsy that is you see that? Yeah, my, yeah, you won't be able to do that with my new desk because it will be as solid as a rock. In fact, it will be even more solid than a rock. Okay, that's all I've got for you today. Bye!